meteorologist Grant Skinner with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, at the upper levels of our atmosphere, there's a trough that's really just stationary over areas to our north, and so a front downstream is just stationary over parts of the deep south, including parts of Tennessee and the Mississippi. Alabama and Georgia. As you can see all of this moisture associated with it, a lot of cloud cover as well. That's kept storm chances higher for today, especially to our north. But you can see there's a few storms left over into this evening. I'll take a zoom and look at some of these. You can see them moving into Connecticut County right now. A few in, over in Evergreen, just a couple just south of Repton and Frisco City. A couple more showers in northern parts of Monroe County, extreme northeastern parts of Clark County as well, just to the north of Thomasville and a few to the east as well. So if you're in northern parts of the county, you might see some rumbles of thunder or some flashes of lightning off in the distance. But other than that, things are pretty quiet elsewhere. Just a few light showers over Millery and Coffeeville this evening. The bulk of the showers and storms are just to our north over central portions of Alabama, just south of Birmingham, west of Montgomery, uh, parts of Perry County, Dallas County. You're getting a good batch of showers and storms uh, over that area right now and moving through some as well. So wetter off to our north, but we'll stay mostly quiet into tonight. A couple brief showers, but our rain chance is staying lower. But tomorrow, a 50% chance you need the green and Phillips umbrella. Here's how it looks on the news fire predictor to tonight. Pretty quiet. A couple of showers possible in the morning. We could see some showers and storms start to pop up along the coastline, but most places stay quiet during the morning hours. Then the storm chances start to pick up throughout the day. As we head closer to lunchtime, you'll see those showers and storms pick up. Heading out the door, this is 8 a.m. You see those showers and storms mainly confined to the coast. Then by the time we hit lunchtime, noon, all the way through 2 o'clock, you'll see showers and storms picking up and eventually moving into our northern counties as well. So a lot of warmth and moisture and more storms for tomorrow. Thankfully not too hot, which will be nice. 50% chance of rain for Monday and Tuesday, up to 60 for Wednesday and Thursday. Then rain chances look more isolated for Saturday and Sunday as we don't have as deep of moisture over the area. This is a view outside right now, our USA Health Providence Hospital camera, all in Credit Union camera. Scatter cloud cover off in the distance looking towards downtown. 79 feels like 82, so it's very pleasant. And the Henderson Beach Resort over in Destin, a nice view there. Look at the beach, absolutely stunning. Low risk for rip currents at the beaches. A nice evening, maybe to take a walk on the beach. Current temperatures, upper 70s, low 80s across the area. 77 in Loosedale, 82 in Gulf Shores, 85 in Atmore, 87 for Walton Beach, 81 in Chatham. And looking ahead to the rest of your evening, by the time we hit 9 p.m., 78 degrees. Look at the isolated storm chance. Those storm chances definitely pick up as we head into tomorrow. So dust forecast. This shows a big story with all that dust pushing over the main parts of the tropical Atlantic that we see that tropical development that's going to keep things pretty quiet for the next seven days. So that's a good sign there. Of course, more storms possible this week, so rain chances staying elevated, but it looks like storms will be more isolated by next weekend. Temperatures because of all the rain and the cloud cover staying a bit cooler. We'll stay in the mid to upper 80s over the next work week. Thank you.